Hello, welcome to the Matthew Walton Art Channel again. Um, today I'm going to do a very small, as you can see, um, sketch, pencil sketch. The paper that I've cut is 14 and a half by 14 and a half centimetres. It fits in a black frame, ready-made frame that I've got. Um, it's going to be a male nude pencil sketch, the same model as you may have seen of the, the male nude crouching. So from a photo set that I did a few years ago of this model, um, it's quite an intimate pose really in that it's it's somebody squatting this time from behind. But I just like the way that the muscles are all shown up on the back and the spine and that sort of thing. Um, so let's see how we get on. I'm starting as ever by trying to get the whole proportions of the body and the pose correct so just using a, a normal HB pencil at this point just to get the the layout correct I think it's important to make sure that everything is where you want it before you start the shading otherwise it's more difficult to undo and rub out everything you've made mistakes in the, the layout stage you can see here that the pose is quite an unusual pose really, I'm sort of almost underneath the model as they, as they squat. Um, just drawing in the feet, they're, they're standing or squatting on a, on a box with a cloth over it. It's the same model as I said um, it, that I did for the male nude crouching. Some minor adjustments, just putting the box in now, or the top of the box. And now I'm happy with the actual pose layout. I start to add the shading. You can see that I've moved to the Nick Pro mechanical pencil here, which is a soft pencil, and I also use it sort of side with side on to get more subtle shading. You'll see as I do this um, drawing. That I try to t make the shading follow the form of the body where possible, which is why you'll see me sort of shading from the top and the side and the other side, just so that the strokes sort of follow the shape of the body, which helps to give the impression of the roundedness of the body. Here you can see me using the side of the pencil lead. to get the spine in and the dimples uh, either side of the spine towards the bottom I've put in the the darkest shadow there underneath um, and I'm just adding the, the far arm in there as well because that will help me sort of gauge how dark everything needs to be against those darkest shadows I'm not a fan of uh, drawing feet, but I'm actually quite pleased, certainly with the one on the right that I'm drawing here. It does actually look like the shape of a foot? As normal, I'm sort of now darkening up the shadows. I go to, to indicate the form. Putting a bit of the shadow in underneath the model, add the sort of background shortly.
I was going to leave the sort of backdrop, um, which is a curtain, out altogether in this drawing, but um, on reflection, as I added it, it looked a bit stark, really, having the model in the middle of nowhere. Just starting to add the box and a few of the shadows. bit of unevenness on the top of the box there for the slight creases and folds that are in the material. Finally I've decided to put in the, the curtains here, the drapery behind. Just trying to match top and bottom so that they line up the, the folds of the curtain. Obviously putting the drapery in means that I have to put the shadow in for the figure. In one way on the right hand side I'm sort of starting to lose the figure but I don't, I don't particularly think that's a bad thing figure in the environment and I do try and just tighten things up again here and making the outline of the figure stand out a bit more of a detail on the box there trying to indicate where the light is coming through using an eraser that's pretty much almost finished I think I did do a bit of tinkering after the video but only slight adjustments as I looked at it well this is the final drawing um, it was quite difficult to work so small um, using the Nick Pro mechanical pencils that I use for my drawing I'll put a link to those in the description in case you want to buy them from Amazon Overall, quite pleased with it. Um, not too bad overall. Um, possibly could have put some deeper shadows on the right hand side of the body, maybe. As this was painted to fit in a frame, I thought it might be quite nice to see it in its uh, sort of frame. I'll put a link to Etsy for anybody who's interested to purchase this. Um, obviously, if you arrive and it's been sold already it won't be available okay thanks for watching the video um i hope you enjoyed it if you did please like the video give it a thumbs up hit that notification bell so that you're notified of any future updates that i make on the channel i'm trying to keep at least one or two a week coming through and of course if you're new here subscribe if you haven't already um and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks very much. Bye.